My thanks to John Major there. And now let's continue with the Eurozone for a bit longer because this week former European Commissioner Mario Monti formed a new technocratic government in Italy. And now as he faces the daunting task of refinancing about 200 billion euros of bonds before April, April next year of course, we ask can his government really help pull Italy out of the market mess that's threatening the whole of the Eurozone apparently? And what of, what of Silvio Berlusconi? How much of a role will his party play in continuing to play this new Italy game as they're trying to do? Joining me now from Rome is a woman who can certainly provide insight on all these matters. Vice President of the Senate, leading member of the Italian Radicals Party, one of our favorite people, Emma Bonino. Great to have you with us, Emma. Um, how are you feeling at this moment? Are you, Thank you. Are you feeling... Pessimistic, optimistic? Yeah, it's a strange moment, but I just feel determined to help as much as I can uh, the new government so that my country can get out of the deep political, institutional, economic crisis where we are inside a major crisis which is uh, uh, involving all the Eurozone and uh, Europe as large, at large. So. I think it's the last chance that we have, and I hope that my colleagues in different parties will finally, finally be aware of the depth of the crisis. Um, is there a danger, of, a real close danger of contagion now? Well, I think that the danger is there, and I think that also Europe as such has been moving too little too late. And uh, starting with a very small crisis, which was at the beginning Greece and Ireland, in fact, the reaction was too little, too late, and now we are facing a major crisis with a real risk of contagion. That's why I'm saying that not only Italy has to move very quickly, but so does also the Europe at large and the Eurozone members particularly. But I would say that this is a heading of two crises. My the country of Italy inside a major international and, and European crisis. And do you think that... Uh... Mario Monti will have the, the clout, the ability to actually take Italy through this debt crisis? Look, I would have preferred very much to have a direct implication of the political parties inside the government so that they can have really made the relations with the, the parliamentary majority because in any case, whatever the government does, it has then to be approved by uh, the parliament and the majority in parliament. That didn't happen. I think it's a fragility, uh, uh, another fragility that Mario Monti will have to, to overcome. And uh, uh, it was impossible because, again, the politicking among the parties, which is one of the, of the reasons of the crisis in, uh, uh, in, my, in my country, that normally, uh, that till the end, they put their own interest before the national interest. And that is, has been we saw it even in the last few days. And at the same time, do you look back on the Eurozone now with, with doubt that maybe Italy shouldn't have joined the Eurozone or that there shouldn't be a Eurozone? I mean, do you have doubts about the Eurozone as a concept? No, no not at all. The fact is that the, the Euro has been a major success in the past 10 years. But uh, uh, the government is not, is not properly constructed and we knew it since the beginning no, nowhere never in the world has ever existed a common currency without a common government a proper treasury or a government uh, of the economic uh, and we knew that since the beginning and I remember that when we asked this question back 10 years ago the answer was well let's make the common currency then the politics will follow uh, unfortunately it didn't so with good weather, in the past 10 years, Euro has been a major success for everybody and for the citizens and people. But with, with the storm, uh, with a tempest and the storm came, simply the, government's, the governance was not properly, uh, properly set. And uh, again, it cannot exist a common currency without a proper common treasury and a government. Emma, thank you so much for being with us. Um, I know you've got to go back thank to... You back to the Senate and so on, but thanks yes. a million for being with us. Grazie. Emma Bonino. In a moment, the machine gun preacher of the Sudan. Now the subject of a major Hollywood movie after this short break. <laughs>